everyone. I am back with a haul, and today I am going to be showing you, excuse the rumples, my Rite Aid haul. Um, they were having a 50% off, buy one, get the other one at 50% off, so I decided to go in and take the opportunity to, to possibly try out some colors from Maybelline, Revlon, different companies that I don't normally try. A drugstore is great for me right now because uh, we want to be able to travel, maybe do Spain and some other things that would be fun for us as a family. So what, the first thing I got was the Revlon Color Stay, and I got it in a dark color so that I can use it as a contour. Uh, right now I have a stick that I use, and I just thought it would be fun to kind of try something a little different. So, And this is supposed to be a Color Stay, 24 hours. It's usually, I don't know how you know your skin is but my skin after about two or three hours absorbs the foundation and so for me having something that is a long wear is a great option because I don't want to fuss and reapply especially when I'm working and um, you know I my office for uh, the business that I my full-time job is actually here in our garage uh, because our accountant has the office at the store. So <laughs> I work out of a garage that has no air conditioning. So I still want to feel as if I'm at work, feel professional, even though I'm sitting in my garage doing my full-time job. Next, I, I got um, some color palettes. It's the Revlon, but I really thought that these colors were beautiful colors. And um, I especially am attracted to this color right here. It's like a purpley color and the bronze color together. So I, I thought that that would be a, a great option to try. I just realized these aren't powder shadows. These are cream shadows. <laughs> so this is a cream shadow. I had no idea. Wow. Okay. So this ought to be interesting to try. And it goes on nice. Um, we'll see how long that lasts on my eyes. I don't know. It may not, it may not stay, but we'll try it. I thought it was powder. Oh, bummer. All right, well, we'll see. They go on really smooth on my hand though. Hmm. All right, well, I guess we'll see how that lasts. Um, I've heard a lot about the Revlon um, Photo Ready products, so I thought that this would be kind of a nice trip into that part of Revlon's product line. And this is the number one pink rose. This is a blusher. You have your highlighter, contour, and then your blush. So I thought I would go ahead and give that a try. The other two products I got from Revlon were the 3D Photo Ready Mascara. I was due for a new mascara, so I thought this would be kind of fun to just try something new. And this is a repurchase for me. It's the blackest eye pencil in uh, their Color Stay line says no mess but um, I actually have great results with this I had a hard time with the Rimmel and that uh, I got a sample from Ico and I had a little bit of a problem with the both of those they're drying out pretty fast and I, I haven't had that same challenge with the Revlon and so and, and the Revlon seems to last a little bit longer on my eyes like I said eat the, these are my opinions for my t skin type usually I use the Tisha Glot and so I got this which I thought was a really nice little highlighter. It's the same concept, you know. I think a lot of companies are coming out with these right now. But I like the luminosity of this product. So see how that just really all of a sudden, nothing, something. <laughs> it really just enhances. And I, I thought that would be a great product to try. So in the summertime, I kind of like a, a nice glow. So this um, is, it can, I mix it in with my foundations and it gives me a, a, a luminescent quality. Very similar, I, I think, to the, uh, to the MAC. I have a MAC one somewhere that I can't actually seem to find right now. I'll check it out and see. Well, actually, let me just try it. It says that you can use it over your skin, just like the MAC one does too. So let's see. Usually I like to use a little here and a little down the bridge of my nose. Okay, I kind of like that. So this is the Nutmeg from Maybelline. It's a single shadow, but I, I think it's really, really pretty. And it's a great, just uh, chocolatey, but a little bit of a, of a purple mixed in with it. I, I think that's a great 
neutral to be able to have. And then I got the, I think this was mocha. And then I got the mocha. Let me just swatch that for you next to it. Maybe if I swatch it next to it, you can kind of see. So one has a little more purple to it and one is a little bit more traditional brown and a little bit more purple. This is the mocha and this is the, um, what did I say it was? Oh, darn it. The nutmeg. <laughs> I did want to try the 24 hour color tattoo. So I got this one in the color, what color is this? Barely brazen. So, oh yes. Ooh. Ooh, I kind of like that. That is a really pretty color. So I thought I would try that. Let me just, usually that's about where I put it. Well, doesn't that just brighten up my eye? Hello, hello. I am gonna look like a painted floozy by the end of this. <laughs> this is Hampton Radiance. And I like the combinations. I think that's gonna soften itself. It's got a little bit of pink undertones as opposed to orange undertones at first glance. Let me try it on this side. Oh yeah, that's gonna go nice. Sometimes I like to put on a pink, uh, uh, help me out here. I like to put on more of a, of a pink neutral and then I'll put more of a, a light bronzer over the top of it. So that's going to be really pretty. I like that. Sun and bronze. Ooh, exciting for me. <laughs> I have a couple of girlfriends that live in Florida. They have a blog called um, Ivory and Olive and they're wonderful ladies and they recommended that I use this. Now this is... Um, it's called Model in a Bottle, and it's a setting spray, just kind of like the uh, Urban Decay setting sprays that they have. So I thought I would give this a try. This was, I think, $18 for this little bottle. This gives you 1.7 fluid ounces. I've yet to try this. It's paraben-free, so for me, that's a, um, kind of... I've been trying to move towards things that are paraben-free and a little more organic, even though that's really hard to do with makeup. <laughs> So I thought that I would give this a try, and um, it doesn't clog your pores, supposedly. They are raving about this, those two girls. They can't stop talking about it. That and the Glammy Glow, they love that stuff a lot too. Then I got some usual suspects. These are really great. <clears throat> I use these all the time. So these are um, just, ooh, do I have that upside down? I do. These are just the, the cotton um, correction sticks for mascara, but I use them for everything. I, I like the little pointy tip on it. The little hairs in it don't, don't fray or anything like that, so I really think that that's one. I got a travel size of, of the dry shampoo. Um, the smell on this, it's okay. It's kind of like coconutty, but perfumey at the same time, and I don't know if I'm a huge fan, but we're getting ready to go to the desert for the um, a weekend and so I thought that would be kind of fun to be able to have the dry shampoo. I got the Tresemme number no. four. So the Tresemme number no. four is one of their strongest holding sprays and for me that's really great especially in the desert because it is super windy out there and very very hot right now so this is humidity resistant and um, it's humidity resistant and it works really well in the wind. There's another lady who is uh, her name is I think her channel on YouTube is Lisa uh, Lisa Street Fremont or something like that. Anyway, I'll link it below so that you can you can check her out. She's really into rockabilly and vintage style and stuff like that. But she is a huge fan of ponds. So I got some ponds dry skin um, moisturizer just to try it and see because I think it's really great if you're in a dry climate like Palm Springs to be able to slather on something and plus it gets really dry here too in San Diego. The smell is a little strange. I'm not used to using smells like baby powder smells so this is a little baby powdery. We'll see how I do with it. So um, anyway, so I'm going to slather it on almost like an overnight mask and try this while I'm in the desert. Uh, they were also having an eyelash sale, so I went cuckoo crazy. Hi, all my eyelashes. Woohoo, eyelashes. So I got eyelashes. I also watch, uh, I'm sure almost everybody on YouTube watches Tati. She uh, has great reviews on different products. So on her recommendation, I went out and got the Youth Code uh, Blur, I think it is. Oh, poor Vanisher. Huh. But it also came with a tiny little free 
um, serum concentrate. So I thought that was a great deal. So I got that. Then I also tried um, the Rimmel Show Off lacquers. I think, um, who is it that had? So then I got the Rimmel Show Off lacquers. And I got this because um, there's a couple of YouTubers, Fleur, uh, she uses this product so I thought I would give this a try and I'm trying to try some different colors out so this one is a little more let's see a little more orangey so I thought I would try that I think that's great for summer I have a little bit of orange on now let's see how it layers over oh yeah it smells a little funny I have been searching for the Real Technique brushes forever. Every time I go into Ulta, they never have them in stock. I don't know if it's just the one by me that doesn't carry them. So when I was in Rite Aid, they had a pack. It's called the Core Collection. And I really love the rose kind of gold effect to it. But these are all the foundation brushes and um, the buffing brushes and contour brushes. So I scored! <laughs> So, and they are kind of travel size, so I thought, and it comes with a stand, so the stand stands up, and I think that was pretty clever of them, and I'm excited because now I have it. So, that is my Rite Aid haul. I hope you've enjoyed this, and if you have any questions or comments or anything that I should maybe try out, because I, I, like I said, I'm trying to venture into saving money and um, using drugstore products, and you can find me on Twitter and Instagram at beauty by sw and we oh i think i'm I've uploaded a vlog recently we did a couple of different things we did a mud run and some exciting things so that's on this channel too i don't have a separate channel for it i'm just putting it all on one so that should be listed in the playlist below so i hope you enjoyed this video and happy hunting <laughs>